planetary gear A <coughs> and the planetary gear A is pinned at point B. So this is pinned at point B and the link BC uh, rotates clockwise. Okay, this is clockwise rotation of the link BC with the uh, 8 radians per second. So if it is clockwise, it means outside the paper is the direction. Can I write down omega uh, of link BC as 8 negative k. And then the question is, uh, while the outer gear rotates counterclockwise, this is the outer uh, ring gear, so it is counterclockwise, so it is to determine the angular velocity. We have to find out omega a. How do you find out omega a? So let's do this math here. So before I do this, I want to remind you that it's like a circle. So if I if I draw, uh, suppose this is um, suppose the, a body is moving in a round shape. A body is moving in a round shape, and this is uh, the center point, and the tangential speed would be equal to v equals to r omega, magnitude would be equal to r omega, agreed? So you will do the similar math here. So if I take this, uh, uh, the planetary gear A, and this is the point C, and this is link uh, B, C, and now this is the path. There is another path here. Okay, guys, now what is the, if this is moving, look, this is the angular rotation clockwise. So this is the tangential velocity of point B. Do you agree with me? And what is that equals to? VB is <coughs> R omega. And what is R? In this case, this is the length of the radius. CB, it is equal to? 15, correct? So what is 15 times, like 15 times 8? How much? And now, if this is the magnitude. If you take a look, what is the direction? The direction is negative i because my I take positive uh, rightward j is upward. And now this is purely on the negative side of the ith axis, correct? You, if you, you visually see this, this is going to the left. And now can I write down negative 120i in the vectorial form? Now, <clears throat> if, I, if I do one more thing from the same link, uh, the center, what is the velocity of this? outer ring gear. Omega, what is omega for this ring gear? It is 2, correct? If omega is given and the radius is given, can you find the tangential speed on the ring gear? Now we are talking about the ring gear omega. What is the ring gear omega? It is 2. So can I write down V? Uh, suppose this is point, uh, point E. Suppose this is point E. Can I write down V E as a magnitude, R omega? What is R in this case? 20, good job. So it is 20, and what is omega in this case? 2, good job. So it is 40. Now this is the magnitude. Now let's see the direction. What do you suggest me? Where is the tangential speed direction of tangential velocity? Correct? Rightward? Agreed? So can I write down positive 40j or 40i? Agreed? Up until here, clear? Now let's apply the equation over here. I'm going to show you the equation of the B and E. This point B and E. So can I write down B equals to B equals to V E plus V B from E? And now this will conclude us what is omega for the planetary gear. This planetary gear is A. Agreed? And now what is can I write down uh, this is a vectorial form. What is V B equals to? equals to negative 120i, VE equals to 40i, 
and omega here let me ask you if this is ring gear is moving counterclockwise what will be the direction of the planetary gear counterclockwise or clockwise counterclockwise correct so can i write down omega k positive cross with r b from e what is r b from e 5g agreed now you will do the math here let me draw the line what is i j k so now k cross j k cross j is negative i so can i write down negative 5 omega i now luckily this equation does not have any jth component so we can just eliminate i and one equation one unknown it gives you omega equals to thir 32 Neg yeah, positive five. Sorry. I negative j. Sorry, this was a little. The question is, this is po the radius is po an upward positive, correct? Where did I do mistakes? Sorry, this is VB 40I negative 5. It is K cross J. It is negative, correct? So you should get you should get that this is correct. Yes, thank you.